On this episode, I'm going to be showing you some genius electrical outlet built-in features that you probably didn't know. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Let's get to tip number one. Let's look at both of these receptacles, or you can call it the street name outlet. One of them is residential, the other one's commercial. The other one is built way better than the other. If you wanna spend a little bit more on a commercial grade version, because this will last longer, it is built a lot better than these cheap ones. So you're probably wondering what these dimples are on these indents on these outlets. Some commercial does not have it. It's kind of like just a helpful guide. If you look right here on the left side, it's a lot longer on the left eye than on the right eye. Left side, this one, which indicates the neutral, the other side, is indicated for hot. This is a polarized plug because you can't insert it the other way. It has to be indicated this way. With other non-polarized plug, either way will work. This, this way or the other way. Another key feature that you can easily spot from far away, and I call this the winking eye, you can identify that this outlet is a 20 amp outlet and the other one is a 15 amp outlet. Verify and clarify that, just look at the label listed on around here and it will say 15 amp and the other one will say 20 amps. So now you know. Next feature is the terminals. Notice how there's different colored terminals. Gold always indicates that it is for the hot and the silver is indicated for neutral. The next feature, whether it be a 20 amp or a 15 amp, you can see if you look at the terminal, there is this little tab right there. There's a tab on there and a tab right there. You can actually release these tabs just by going back, rocking them back and forth and they will break off. And that's if you want to control one of the outlets right here independently. Say you want to control it via light switch, you can independently control that and leave the other one connected, just like a regular outlet and vice versa. Next cool genius feature is if you look at right on the terminal screws, notice how it looks like an X with a little square in the middle. Well, that fits perfectly with an ECX combination square screwdriver. So if you fit that right there, it looks and fits amazing. It gives it that nice tight connection. You can use a Phillips head screwdriver or a flat head, but there's a limit onto that when it comes to tightening and it just slips off but you can get that extra tightness with this ECX screwdriver combination. So it's pretty much just like a Robertson head bit combined with a flat head wing. So you can get that nice tight connection. Looking at these three outlets, you notice that these ears area, these two have them, but this one doesn't. And that's this little ear right there with these little strip gauge on the ends right there. So this is on the 20 amp, it's a little bit more classy on that one, nice and shiny. And this one is just for the residential grade. Now again, these are kind of like the last resort things. They don't do the best for white stripping, but it does do the job. For 14 gauge, it's written right here on the corner. This one's for 12 gauge wire. The 14 gauge wire, insert through right there, give it a little bit of twist here and there, and you can pretty much strip it just like that. A few twists and you can pull it out easily. Not all outlets have that feature like this one. So it all depends on the brand and what type you get. But overall, that's a pretty sweet feature. Sorry to interrupt you right quick friends, but if you're enjoying this video and you're finding it helpful, please hit that big thumbs up down below and please share this video so we can help out more people. With that being said, let's get back to the video. So here's another cool feature. And again, not all outlets have these. If you look at the ground wire area, you can see that there's a little hole right there. This one, this residential one does not have it for some reason. What you can do, it's kind of like a speed feature. You can put your wire through that hole and then you can just guide your ground wire right through there, just like that. And then after you're done, you can just go and tighten that up. Again, always tighten in a clockwise manner and there you have it, nice and fast, making that shepherd's hook. Have you ever looked at all these outlets and you ever see by the terminal, there's always this little nub right there on the end, these little tiny little hooks. Well, the purpose of those is pretty much if you take your wire, you can easily accomplish a nice J hook. Place it right against there and this can make that nice J hook just like this, easy. And then you can tighten that up and there you have it. Looking at all these three outlets, you can see that all of them have the same feature 
and its different shapes. Can you spot it? Well, if you did, that is the Mickey Mouse ears. There's these little detachable tabs on the corner. The reason for that is just in case that you want to go install it on a metal box like this one, this is not the right one because the other boxes have these little connectors for these. You can't necessarily fit them through there. So what you're gonna do is you need to cut out and cut away these detachable tabs. So notice that they already have these little cutouts, but if you go and just rock this back and forth, they break away just like that. And do the other side, but you kind of get the picture. That's what it's meant for that one. Great feature about these broken Mickey Mouse ears is that if you stack them together, so instead of throwing these away, save them because when you, for example, you have sunken outlets and you need this outlet to be pushed out a little bit more from the electrical box or J box, just place these right behind there and this will help push that outlet a little bit more out like so. You can also use these. They're actually made for this to go and push that outlet out. But if you don't have this available, scraps of these little Mickey Mouse ears, you can use that as well. Right on the back, right like so. All of them are fairly different. These ones, you have a backstab method. You see that there's a little stuck wire there. Sorry about that. I don't necessarily recommend doing a backstab method because they can easily just come off. And I have experiences in the past where that does come off when I took out an outlet or a switch. So these commercial grade ones have these little features, but they're not the backstab method. They're called the back wire. These have a gauge at the back where you can measure how much you know you need for back wiring. So put it on the back wire. It fits just right like that. And then you can tighten it. Again, highly recommend back wiring versus backstabbing. Backstabbing method is only meant for 14 gauge wiring. I had a 12 gauge right there, here and it will not fit. So one time deal, once you push that in, once you pull it out, it's no good. It's because when you pull it out, it breaks that little clamping mechanism and loosens it. And therefore you'll have this right there. Look into a switch. It does have a strip gauge as well. Back wired and side wired. From this end to this end is side wire. From this to this is back wire. Here's another genius built in feature. If you look at all these outlets, there's one that stands out and this one doesn't have it. So that's pretty much this one. It's pretty much, it says tamper resistant. If you have kids like me, this comes in very, very handy. Now, if you look right here, it's pretty much this little stopper right there, which pretty much stops anything, foreign objects from going through there. Now I have this, this flat head and I'm trying to push it in there and it's not going all the way in because it is tamper resistant without having the correct plug, okay? So I can't just push this in there. I go and use this for this, I can easily insert this flat head right through. Now. Again, tamper resistant is the way to go for safety features. So I have wires like these for water resistance if you're gonna install this on the, on the wet areas. Again, they're not waterproof, they're just water resistant. So there you go, also tamper resistant. Each one of these outlets have their own special features depending on how much you wanna spend and where you're gonna install it and what for which purpose. So there you have it friends, those are some of the cool and genius built-in features for these electrical outlets. Now, if I missed any of them, please leave it in the comment section down below and share it with the community. And again, friends, if you found this video super helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video.